Imagination is far greater than knowledge. Logic will get you to A to B, but imagination is where dreams can be achieved. Now, some people don't understand this because they, they feel like the only way they can achieve anything in life is just by working harder, you know, doing what they've always been programmed to do. But if you think of the very core of life and what it actually is, it's just energy vibrating at a high frequency. In order to attract anything in life, in order to be anything in life, and in order to have your greatest dreams, visions and goals manifested in life, you first must have to feel that life. You must have to feel what it's like to already be in possession of exactly what you want in life and know exactly where you're heading and what that dream is. See, too many people in life are floating around, not really sure of exactly what they want. They're working in a job that makes them unfulfilled. They're earning a, an average salary and they're doing what society or their parents or their teachers at school are telling them what they should be doing. But my question to you is, do you know where you're headed? Have you got a dream that you're holding on to that you want to try and achieve? Or are you just floating around in life? Because if you carry on floating, doing what people around you say is what you should be doing, the chances are you'll continue the next 20, 30 years and look back at your life and realize that actually you've never achieved anything. You've got one life, right? And my motto is live every day to the fullest. Do everything you want to do because life is short, right? So think about this. When you get in a car, you know exactly where you're heading. When a pilot gets in the cockpit, he knows the final destination. You must have a clear, defined vision of what you want in life, what goal you want to achieve, what your best life looks like. Because if you haven't got it, you'll just float around and get nowhere. And imagination is free. It doesn't cost a penny to have an imagination. And if you can feel right now, in the moment, exactly what you want, you will manifest it to yourself. Take this as a great example. If a pilot got in a plane and he had the final destination in one place and he just slightly altered the nose of the plane just by a couple of degrees, over that period of that flight, that plane would probably end up in a different country so you've got to know what you want in life right now. You've got to feel it. You've got to feel the emotions. You've got to feel the excitement of, of that dream in reality. Because the only way to achieve that dream is to by taking action right now in the present moment. Just small steps. But the first step is to clearly define exactly what you want. Imagine that feeling of exactly how it would feel and then go after it. And this is a great example of this why is it that most children always manage to get what they want well they don't really understand the fact that you have to work for things or you know parents have to buy things they feel what it feels like to, to have that toy or, or whatever they want in their life and a lot of the time children are oh, the greatest manifestors they are able to manifest whatever they want because they go after it they scream and cry. They will do anything to please their parents to get it. They take the action in that present moment. They feel it, they want it. They know they're gonna get it. Yet as humans, we've lost that connection. We, we're disillusioned by vision and dream. And we do what society tells us that we should do. And why is that? When if you think about all society is, it's just made up anyway. It was just made up by someone years ago that told people that they had to live a certain way. Well, I want you to break out the status quo. I want you to really define where you're going in life. You know, have you got your final destination clearly defined on your sat nav? And if you're looking at your life right now and you're saying to yourself, what I want seems miles away. It seems like an unrealistic goal. Remember what I said about the aeroplane and the pilot just tilting a couple of degrees. Take small steps right now over a long period of time, compounded, and look at the difference 
Look at how your life may end up in the next six to 12 months just by making tiny, tiny steps piled up over a long period of time. I want you to break free from the shackles of your current life and situation and realize that your best life is within reach. Absolutely anyone can achieve it by tapping into that. Create your best life right now, take small steps and go out there and achieve your best life.